Hello, my name is Dr. Rodriguez. I am a science professor. STEAM is an educational movement that combines science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics. On the iSTEAM channel, we will introduce STEAM fields as access points for experiential learning, inquiry, and critical thinking. Today's episode, Investigating transport across a non-living membrane, materials, dialysis tube soak in water, two clips, tap water, 1% starch solution, 80% glucose solution, iodine solution, a 400 milliliter beaker, a 25 milliliter graduate cylinder, a glass rod, a pipette, a clinistic strip, a test tube. Procedure. Place 200 milliliters of tap water into the 400 milliliter beaker. Add 20 drops of iodine solution to the water in the beaker and stir with the glass rod. The solution in the beaker should have a golden brown color. Iodine solution causes starch to appear blue-black. Obtain a piece of soaked dialysis tubing. Fold over one end of the tubing and seal it with the clip. Measure 20 milliliters of 1% starch solution and put it into the sealed dialysis tubing. Starch molecules are larger and made from several glucose molecules. Add 30 drops of 80% glucose solution to the starch solution in the dialysis bag. Carefully squeeze the top section of the bag to expel excess air. Fold over the top of the dialysis bag and seal it with another clip. Rinse the bag with running tap water to remove any starch or glucose that may have be on the outside. Carefully submerge the bag into the beaker of iodine solution. The solution in the beaker should remain golden brown after the dialysis bag has been submerged. Observe the setup after 30 minutes and record the appearance of the bag. Obtain a strip of cleaning stick. Use a pipette to remove a small solution from the bottom of the beaker and squirt one drop over the cleaning stick. A cleaning stick strip becomes purple in the presence of glucose. Summarize and explain your observation of starch, glucose, iodine and water movement across the dialysis membrane. Your explanation of molecular movement must include statements about the permeability of the dialysis membrane and the size of the molecules that were investigated. I hope this presentation was insightful. Please subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you enjoy learning about STEAM. Please also share this channel with someone you think can benefit from or will enjoy the presentation of the iSteam channel. Hope to see you soon!